Hello there, I'm the Lady of Nemesis, welcome back to Dragonish Origins. Last time we went and found the Temple of Sacred Ashes, fighting our way through the many passages and cultists inside. These cultists seem very certain that Andrasi has been reborn in the shape of a fearsome dragon, but that can be true, right? Regardless, we still have to find the ashes themselves. They say music soothes the savage beast, but I'm not going to test that theory. We, we must be close. This is holy ground. I can feel it. I bid you welcome, Pilgrim. I am the Guardian, the protector of the urn of sacred ashes. I have waited years for this. It has been my duty, my life, to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful. Come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here. And shall I remain until my task is done and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea? I do not know, and I do not question. You already know that the urn contains the remains of the prophet Andraste. What else is there to tell? No, our Andraste has gone to the Maker's side. She will not return. The dragon is a fearsome creature, and they must have seen her as an alternative to the absent Maker and his silent Andraste. A true believer would not require audacious displays of power. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. Then you will not come to the ashes. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. A gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, 
you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not, before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You rose above your caste to become a Grey Warden, but you left behind your family, who relied on you. Tell me, Pilgrim, did you fail them? Your path is laid out before me and plain to see. In the lines of your face and the scars on your heart. Do you believe you failed your friends and family? Then you do not dwell on past mistakes. Neither yours nor someone else's. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight, but it doesn't make it any better. What's past is past. Why bring it up and open all wounds? Oh, good. For a moment there, I thought you were going to go on a weepy tirade and try to share your feelings. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him? I... yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance, maybe I... And you? Why do you say the Maker speaks to you when all know that the Maker has left? He spoke only to Andraste. Do you believe yourself her equal? I never said that. I... In Orlay, you were someone. In Lothering, you feared you would lose yourself, become a drab sister, and disappear. When your brothers and sisters of the Cloister criticized you for what you professed, you were hurt. But you also reveled in it. It made you special. You enjoyed the attention, even if it was negative. You're saying that I made it up for... for the attention? I did not. I know what I believe. And the Antivan Elf. Oh, is it my turn now? Hurrah! I'm so excited. Many have died at your hand. But is there any you regret more? a woman by the name of... How do you know about that? I know much. It is allowed to me. The question stands, however. Do you regret? Yes, the answer is yes, if that's what you wish to know. I do. Now move on. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? 
A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders. That all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. A poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamoni, but beside her I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? The bones of the world stretched towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white. A bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? Yes. I carried Andraste's ashes out of Tavinta into the mountains to the east, where she could gaze ever into her maker's sky. No more fitting a tomb than this could we find. She wields the broken sword, and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Yes, I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword, comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Tevental Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. The crops failed. And their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow, and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. I did that today. Ran from another bunch that Jarvia sent after me. She wants to take me apart layer by layer. Didn't know I had that many layers. Did I mention she's real upset about Barat?
Sorry? You're not sorry. You barely spared a thought for us. That's the way it goes, isn't it? You can't afford to think about the past. You have to look forward. I'm proud of you for moving on. Here. I found this lying around and I've no use for it. I know you'll do something good with it. Goodbye, my friend. Remember me. Magnificent. Hey, you see those thingies over on the side of that huge chasm? I bet they're used for something. Maybe I should touch them or stand on them? Yes. Next time we see a strange contraption, why don't you just go stand on it? If something bad happens, hey, we know it's a trap. You uh, don't really think they're traps, do you? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I don't think it's solid enough to stand on, but it's a start. It's an actual bridge piece right there. Your command? If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we can make it across. And you'd like... know what to say. You have been through the trials of the gauntlet. You have walked the path of Andraste, and like her, you have been cleansed. You have proven yourself worthy, Pilgrim. Approach the sacred ashes.
I never dreamed I would ever lay my eyes on the urn of sacred ashes. I... Oh, I, I, I have no words to express. I didn't think anyone could succeed in finding Andraste's final resting place. But here, here she is. Nice vase. I should get one for my house. I could have a try at that. As you wish. Welcome back. You were gone for quite some time. Well, did you find it? What... what was it like, coming to the urn, I mean? It may be that to you, but means so much more to thousands of people. Perhaps my research will not seem so much like blasphemy to the Chantry now. We must organize an expedition. There is so much history here, it must be studied, and and pilgrims should be allowed to come to the urn. But the urn belongs to all the faithful. How can you deny this to them? No, we must share it. I agree. We cannot withhold this from others. It is not our place. So everyone comes by and takes some ashes from the urn. Oh, I hope that urn is self-replenishing. And perhaps at an entrance fee, no? I will spread this good news or die trying. I must return home. I have much to do. If you ever find yourself in Denerim, please visit me. I am not a rich man, but I have a small collection of interesting artifacts, and I do owe you a reward for coming to my rescue. I hope to see you soon, my friend. This should be easy enough. Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? The nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never! not? Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for them now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. 
I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. on it. Return. Might you have news? You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. And Connor? Where is my boy? Where is our son? He... He is dead. Connor is dead. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. This is most troubling. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, I know you did what you had to. I grieve for my son. But I believe that had you not acted as you did, it might have been far worse. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? I understand that regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts, nothing more. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man. 
One who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. Mad enough to kill Caelan to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. I could unite those opposing Loghain, yes. But not all oppose him. He has some very powerful allies. We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. No, not at all. Loghain is responsible for heinous crimes, and I intend to see him pay. But our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative, but the unthinkable has occurred. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet. A gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Very well. I will send out the word. It will take some time to recall my forces and organize our allies. I would prefer to wait until that is done before calling the landsmeet. In the meantime, I suggest you pursue the remainder of the Grey Warden treaties. We will need all the allies we can get if we are to defeat the Darkspawn Horde. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.